The MLA of East Shillong constituency, Dr. Maisel Amperin Lingdo, while speaking to media persons on the 17th of May 2022, informed that as a representative of the people, she will have to consult them and as per the mandate of the public, she will have to take a call on the party that she would like to associate herself before contesting in the upcoming Legislative Assembly elections of 2023 popularly demand that I should go to BGP and go to BGP also. Where is the worry? It is my people who will guide me, not me who will guide them. So my people are very focused, my supporters are very focused. I will go to any political party which they feel will be the best option. But option number one, which is the Congress, doesn't seem to be in the offing for us because we already have a person who says that he is a Congress candidate in my constituency. So you can imagine the craziness of this election. I'm still in Congress, but we have a Congress candidate in my constituency. So that is the situation that we are in right now. Doesn't matter, let them do what they like. We go ahead and prepare for the polls as scheduled. My sister and I are actually members of the Congress. But the Congress has suspended us. So, what do we do next? Our candidature, candidatures go on. Candidature for us is based on public requests, public putting in pressure to request us to contest. So, we go ahead and prepare our field. My sister has gone to NPP, lucky her. Very happy for her. I wish her well. I hope she will be an efficient alternative in the political scenario. We don't know where that will result, how that will result. But her going to the NPP has nothing to do with me. So I will take my decision and I will decide in house with my constituents as and when I meet them in their home. Early this year, five MLAs of the Congress Party, that included Dr. M. Amperin Lingdo, Mohendro Rapsang, Meral Bons Im, Kimfa Marbanyang, and Prasesti Saukme, had been suspended from the party by the All India Congress Committee due to their support of the NPP led government in the state. It may be mentioned that the AICC had decided to suspend all five MLAs for three and a half years, even though the Legislative Assembly elections have been scheduled for 2023. Speaking to reporters today, Dr. M. Amperin Lingdor said that the manner in which the suspension was issued is not at all acceptable to all five MLAs, but they will complete their term as Congress legislators, even without the permission of the Meghalaya Pradesh Congress Committee. The system allows us to await taking further final decision. Like I said, the manner in which the suspension was issued was something that is not acceptable to the five MLAs. We had said that we had had in-house discussions on this matter. We leave it at that. Because if you go and you mudsling through the media and start bashing parties because of our predicament, it would not be correct for the five of us to take this debate further. The system allows us to remain this way because the Congress party has issued a suspension for a period of three and a half years. Now, what that suspension means, why this period of three and a half years was selected, we are not privy to any of those discussions. But the five of us will complete our terms as Congress legislators with or without the permission nor blessing of the MPCC. It is safe to say that because we hear reports that Mr. Kumfa, Rafsan and you are almost set to join the MP and contest for me the MPP. You may speculate. But we will be smart with that. The system allows us to wait and watch. A suspension has serious interpretations. Why would you want us 
to have a political suicide that is not going to be good for us. You suspend, we wait. We hope they will expel. But if they don't expel, then the wait goes on. Where is the hurry? We are not in any hurry. It is the party that has suspended us. It's not that we have asked for suspension. So he who suspends will decide what he wants to do next. We are the victims here. Dr. Amprin Lingdor, on being inquired about the freedom to decide on her political future, said that the Congress party has been trying to complicate matters for all the five suspended MLAs, but as per democratic rights, they have the freedom to choose whether or not they would like to remain suspended or choose to be free from such suspension by the party they are currently associated with. The Congress party has not freed us. They have not given us any freedom. They are trying to create complications for us, but it doesn't matter. That is something they are trying to do. We are in a democratic system, wherein suspended MLAs can choose to remain suspended. We choose to remain suspended. Speculations about where we are going, we leave that to our supporters, because all five of us are in conversation with our respective supporters. Nothing is to be said officially. We await the expulsion, but if the expulsion is never going to happen, then let's see after three and a half years, we may rejoin the Congress. But in between comes an election. Where we go to the election will be our choice.